landed a nice red yes. tail. Yes. You say it, say it. Say it. Yeah! Oh my god, this one's way bigger! Yes. Oh, it's a lunker! Take it away, get away, get away! Okay, so we're back home from our Oregon trip and we've got two nice red tail perch we caught just south of the Oregon border with California. So in the very most northern part of California, we made one last stop and we caught a couple nice red tail perch. Um, we cleaned them at the beach after we caught them. We didn't have great um, tools with us to clean them, so um, we brought them home. Uh, after that we put them in the cooler on ice and brought them home that day so here we are um, the next day and we're cooking these guys up so okay so what I'm gonna do is just cut the fins off really quick and that way I can go ahead and scale it in here in a minute this one seems to be okay uh, we can cut these fins off here. I might actually just cut. I think there's some bones down here that I'm going to want to cut off anyways. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so red tail perch and most perch in general are pretty easy to scale. What you want to do is take the back of your knife. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fillet knife. It just has to be a knife with a nice flat edge on it. And you rub against the scales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here and go do this over the sink. But they come off pretty easily, when you, especially when you have water running on them. And uh, we'll be right back. One sec. Okay, so I just finished scaling these guys up, but there's something that I wanted to show you about perch and lots of other fish is that on their top fin, they have these really sharp spikes. Um, as you can see right here, the spikes are poking through. These are very hard spikes and they can poke you and they've poked me many times. So you always have to handle fish with care so you don't accidentally poke yourself with that spike. I, uh, this big guy's gonna have the same thing on top too and see how those expose themselves. So here we go. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is just score the fish. That'll be cutting some lines in them that will allow the heat oh, to get yeah. in and cook them evenly. So you I'll just make some film. gentle cuts, maybe three or four into each fish. And then what we'll do is get a lot of seasoning and butter down into those cuts. That's called scoring the fish. Very easy to do, helps a lot allows seasoning to get down into the fish, allows butter to get down into the fish. Oh, a couple scales I missed right there, not a problem. Okay, next one. Now, if someone has a better angle at which you should be scoring the fish, be sure and leave that down in the comments below. Um, I'm just cutting them at whatever is angle is easiest for me. Trying some different things. You hit that button for me, right? Okay, I've got this giant lemon. Looks like it's still good. Maybe not. We'll put a couple slices of it on the fish and cook it. Okay, now that we have the fish scored, what we want to do is go ahead and season it with some butter and some lemon pepper. So we'll take some of this butter real quick. Take some of this butter, we'll get it on that fish. Get it in there real good. Don't be shy. Turn it over, more butter. Really get it in the spot to where we scored it. Stick some butter on the inside. Okay, same thing here. Same thing here. Don't be shy. Put some butter on the inside. Okay, now last step is to put some seasoning on it. What we're gonna do is put one on the grill and one in a pan, and we're gonna do a little 
um, taste test to see which one we like better. All right. Okay, so it looks like this is nice and hot and ready to go. I think what we'll do is put the smaller fish here in the pan. And we'll put the larger fish here on this little grill. And we'll give it a couple minutes and come back and check it. Everything looks good. One more thing I wanted to do is put a little more lemon. Inside it. Lemon is good. let these guys cook for a little bit come back again in a minute okay let's check these and see how they look all right looking good smells good too so turning them is probably not going to be easy so i'll just give it a shot here a little skin coming off oh look at that delicious meat yum okay this one's probably going to be a little harder but we'll see how good we can do okay Without breaking it. Oh wow, delicious. <clears throat> I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon on here. Looks like they're cooking pretty good. Okay. And we'll go ahead and cook that side for maybe, I don't know, seven, eight minutes and see how it goes. No, it's mushy a little bit. Okay, so I think these guys are just about done. That's pretty good and stuck on there. This guy looks good. Got a lot of forks because everybody wants to take a bite. Okay, let me give it one more minute. We'll take it off. Okay, so we've prepared our red tail surf perch. And here's Cooper and Easton. And they're going to go ahead and give it a little taste test. Guys, you want to grab a fork and try it out? All right. Just be careful that there's no bones. You just want to kind of flake it back a little bit like that. Hey, sure, here you go. Let's see if it's any good. Mm, that is good. Oh, yeah, good. That's good, right then. Oh, delicious. All oh, the lemon taste comes with it. And we took the scales off, so it's okay to eat the skin. Eat the skin yeah. too. <laughs> Surf perch is a little mushy, but it's all right. It's good. Oh, it's fine. Looks like Riggs wants a little bite too. Here's Riggs down here. It's good. All right. Thumbs up. Mm. Be sure to like and subscribe our videos. Redwood.fish. Peace First. out. Here's Magnus here having a bite of red tail surf yeah, perch. You it like good? it? Thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo. Look at daddy.